So we are up early this morning. Uh, we are going over a section of the Wind River Range into Sinks Canyon, and we are on a hunt to see if we can see any wildlife this morning. Oh, I'm excited. Spotted some moose. Pronghorns, commonly referred to as antelope, live on open grassland. The name pronghorn comes from the buck's large pronged horns. They are the fastest land animal in North America and can run 60 miles per hour for great distances. So we are getting ready to go down a road called Moose Wilson Road and it is right outside of the Grand Teton National Park. Um, I think it, you said it does take us into the park. Okay, and we are on a lookout for wildlife. Elk are the second largest member of the deer family, with only moose larger. Mature bulls grow and shed heavy white antlers each year. They are shy and seldom seen during the daytime hours. They are best found in early morning or evening hours. However, I would say that you are pretty much guaranteed to find them in Yellowstone. The coyote is a species of canine native to North America. It is smaller than its close relative, the wolf. The coyote is versatile, able to adapt to and expand into environments modified by humans. It is enlarging its range with coyotes moving into urban areas in the eastern U.S.
The American bison, also commonly known as the American buffalo, is a species that once roamed North America in vast herds. Its historical range is described as the Great Bison Belt, a tract of rich grassland that ran from Alaska to the Gulf of Mexico, east as far north as New York and south to Georgia. The moose is the largest and heaviest species in the deer family. Moose are striking in appearance because of their towering size, black collar, long legs, pendulous muzzle, and dangling hair dewlap called a bell. of prairie dogs and they're all talking to each other. It's so cute. The black-tailed prairie dog is found on the dry upland prairie. It is a rodent that lives in large social groups called towns. Prairie dogs get their name from their bark-like call.
The burrows in Custer State Park are not native to the Black Hills. They are descendants from the herd that once hauled visitors to the top of Black Elk Peak. The rides were discontinued years ago and the burrows were released into the park. Thank you.